Welcome back guys to our Android programming tutorial series on Android material design. I am Annie from SmartHerd. In this video series we are learning about the animations that are provided by material theme. In the last video we had learned about the shared element transition. In this video we will be learning about the activity transitions related to enter and exit transition. Proceeding further. What exactly is enter transition? Enter transition determines how the views in an activity enters the scene. It determines the pattern and the transition pattern of the activity which will be entering the scene in our Android application. The next comes exit transition. What exactly is exit transition? It determines how an activity leaves the scene or how an activity exit the UI of our Android application. This enter and exit transition can be further classified into explode transition, slide transition and fade transition. We will learn about it in detail in the upcoming videos. In this video we will be proceeding with the explode transition. What explode transition is? The explode transition in relation with the entry and exit transition is that the activity will move in or out from the view of the UI from the center of the scene. On the left side of the screen you can see how explode transition works. On clicking this button we can see the views in the UI moves into the center of the screen and on pressing the exit button it moves out of the screen from center. This is what explode transition is. Now let us move to Android Studio and start implementing explode transition. We will resume our Android project from the previous project that we had made implementing the shared element transition. I have added few activities and layout for implementing the explode transition. In my Java folder I have added a transition activity and I have made some changes in the Android activity. In the layout folder I have added the activity transition.xml and made some changes in activity main.xml which I will be explaining and showing you in some time. In my Android manifest file I have added the activity name of transition activity. Now let us close this because we don't need it. First let me tell you about the activity main.xml changes that I have made. In this video we will be learning about the implementation using the Java code and the XML code. This is the linear layout for the explode transition and on clicking this button the explode transition by code method will be executed in our main activity.java and on clicking this button the explode transition by XML method will be executed same in the main activity.java and for the other enter and exit transition also I have made same settings on clicking this button the slide transition by Java on clicking this button slide transition by XML and same with the fade transition fade transition by Java and fade transition by XML. Now let us move to main activity.java I have just defined the functions here that will be executed on clicking each of the button. This is the code that I have added to the main activity. Now the activity transition.xml. This is the activity layout which will be displayed after the transition is executed. I have created a text view here and this layout has two image views and there is the dummy text. This back button will take us to the previous activity from which it had come. Nothing too complicated as of now. In the transition activity.java I have declared the constant transition type as type and the string of the toolbar title. This constant class is here which I have defined. In the constants.java I have defined two constants. One is the animation type and the second is the animation title. And I have also defined an enum of transition type which will help us differentiate between the different transition that we will be working on. Let me close this file and move to transition activity.java and explain the codes that I have added. 
I have explained about this when we were discussing about shared element transition, enabling the window animation feature. Either we can do this here before the onCreate method or we can do it in the styles.xml file. In the theme, we can enable the window content transition attribute as true. Next I am calling the init page function. In this function, I have defined the toolbar title here and this type fetches the key animation type. This key animation type comes from the constant class. This is the animation type which is fetched here in transition activity.java. Here I have defined the toolbar title. Then I have defined the button exit. On clicking the exit button, what happens? On clicking the exit button, the finish after transition method is executed. This finish after transition, this finish after transition will destroy the activity with the reverse animation with which the activity had entered the screen. Next I have enabled set display home as up enabled to true. And then I have set the title of the toolbar as toolbar title. This toolbar title will be fetched from the key title which I have defined in the constants.java which will be the name of the transition that we will be learning about. For the back icon in the navigation menu, I have again defined finish after transition. After the execution of the init page function, the init animation function will be executed. In the init animation function, I have defined the switch cases which will be executing the code depending on the type of the animation that we will be wanting. This type will be coming from the constants.java. Now let us begin writing the code for explode animation in the main activity.java. In my previous video while learning about the shared element transition, I had said about the activity option class that is required for initiating the animation. Let us define a variable of activity option class. This will be taking the parameter as the context that is our main activity. Next we will be defining the intent which will move from main activity dot this to transition activity dot class. This animation type will be explode java for this case which will be fetched from the enum that I have defined. Here it is explode java. Next we need to define the title for the toolbar which will be stored in key title constant. So here what I have done is defined the options variable of activity option class. Then I have defined the intent. For this intent the key animation type will be the explode java which is fetched from this enum of the transition type and the first one is explode java. And then in the key title constant I have stored the string explode by java. This will be the title of our toolbar and then start activity i options dot two bundle. This is the code that we had to add in our main activity dot java. Next for the transition activity we need to write the code for explode java here. The explode class we are defining the object for it. We will set the duration for this explode transition as the integer that I have set in the diamonds.xml. This constant I have defined in my diamonds.xml file. I have defined three constants here which are of integer type. First is animation duration very long, long and medium. For the very long I have defined it as 1000 millisecond. The long one is 500 millisecond and the medium is 300 millisecond. So we got this transition duration from animation duration long. Then we will set the transition. Now let us run our application and see how the explode animation is running. Here is our application up and running. Now let us click on explode transition java code button and see what happens. And yes, we have successfully implemented explode animation by the java code. This is the key title 
the explode by java and the constant type of the key animation is explode java we can see here this is how it works it moves in and out from the center of the screen on pressing the exit button the reverse explode animation occurs on clicking it again it comes towards the center and on pressing the back button it goes away from the center this is how the explode animation works now let us implement it using the xml code for implementing explode transition using the xml code we need to create a transition directory in the resource folder let us create it inside this transition folder let us create the xml file for explode transition let us name it as explode.xml and the root element we will give it as transition set this is the transition set which we have set inside which we will be defining our interpolators and set now what interpolator is interpolator defines the rate of change of animation and the basic animation effects there are various kind of interpolators and let us see what are they set the duration for the animation transition let's say 1000 millisecond and then the interpolator so these are the various interpolators that we have accelerate cubic accelerate deaccelerate quad quint anticipate overshoot bounce cycle let us try with the bounce interpolator in our java code we haven't used this interpolator and we are implementing the interpolator in our xml file so we will see the difference what this interpolator makes while entering and exiting the scene now we are set with the explode.xml let us move to activity.java and write the code for the explode transition by xml which will be executed when we click this button in our main activity there is a very little change in code that we will be having while implementing explode transition by xml so let us copy this code and paste it here activity options this line will be the same the intent will be moving to transition activity the thing we need to change here is explode xml which is the second one in the enum type which we have defined in the constants.java and here we will change the title of the toolbar to explode by xml that is all the change we need to make in our main activity.java for transition activity.java we need to define the transition we will give the context here as this and the transition that will be inflated is the transition.xml which we have defined in the transition folder in the resource directory we need to set this in the get window now let's run our application and see how the explode transition works with the interpolator which we have defined in explode.xml with the bounce interpolator here is our application up and running let us see what happens when we click this button to execute explode transition by xml file we can see here the explode transition has the bouncing effect when it enters the screen and when we press the back button it moves away because we have set this transition explode.xml for the enter transition and for the exiting time it executes the explode transition and moves away from the center and changes the activity now let us change this interpolator and see the effect that takes place while exiting the screen let us change it to cycle and see what happens the change in the pattern in which the transition occurs this is what the cycle type interpolator does it changes the effect of the transition this way you can try all other interpolators and find the suitable one according to your need another thing that i wanted to tell you was 
द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द फिनिश आफ्टर ट्रांजिशन एंड द फिनिश मेथड लेट मी चेंज दिस फिनिश आफ्टर ट्रांजिशन टू जस्ट फिनिश दिस फिनिश मेथड विल डिस्ट्रॉय द एक्टिविटी विदाउट द रिवर्स एनिमेशन बट द फिनिश आफ्टर ट्रांजिशन एग्जीक्यूट द रिवर्स एनिमेशन while exiting the screen and destroying the activity now let us see the difference between the finish and finish after transition in our application let us run our application and see the exact difference between them so here we can see the difference now while clicking the exit button the finish method is executed we can see there is no reverse transition that takes place but on clicking the back icon in the navigation menu we can see the reverse transition taking place so this is the difference between the finish and finish after transition that's all for this video guys in this video we learnt about implementing the explode transition using the java code and the xml code in the next video we will be learning about implementing slide transition and the fade transition using the java codes as well as the xml files If you like the video do share and leave your comment below the video subscribe to our channel and help us grow i also have given the link for the source code of the entire module below in the description you can go there and refer to it that's all for this video for further videos stay tuned keep smiling and have a good day